Hi everyone, Dave Williams here. I'm um, making this video just as a demonstration of how I go about setting up tool lengths when I've got uh, an electronic tool setter present. Um, I never cease to be amazed by how much trouble other people go to to measure the exact height of the spindle nose, then the exact height above the table of the surface of the tool setter, <coughs> and from that the exact height, the exact lengths rather, of all the tools. Um, there really isn't any need to go to that uh, much trouble, or at least not as far as I can see. Now the tool that's sitting in the chuck at the moment is just a gauge pin. It's a 12mm gauge pin that I happen to have sitting around. I've got it sitting in a cheap non-tool changer type collet, because I only use it once uh, every, every session. Um, <coughs> every time I start the machine up, or if I had to uh, re-reference the axes, um, I go through this procedure to find out exactly where the tool setter is. So let me start by re-referencing the axes. Simple enough to do. I'll dereference them first and then hit ref all and we'll see the tool change the tool changer sorts itself first. There we go and then the standard axes. Okay, no drama there. Having got that sorted out, um, I maintain one of my uh, work coordinate systems, G59, to be over the tool setter. That makes it very easy for me um, simply to implement a single button press which will go over there to the tool setter and uh, zero the current tool. So moving across to the tool setter position, rapiding down to 20mm short, and then running the probe cycle. Z probe touch detected at minus 0.01. <coughs> and the system is reporting, uh, it found that at minus 0.01mm, which is about half a foul, it means that the re-referencing the axes has moved the vertical axis by about half a foul. That's just the repeatability of the micro switch. So having done that, um, we can now switch to any old tool we fancy. Um, I'll go to my uh, favourite uh, 90 degree spot, spot drill. Remove tool 100. Since we don't have an ATC groove in this one, I'll remove it manually. Tool five, four millimeters. And there is my tool five. Um, now, if that were newly installed, I'd simply press the button that says "Go and touch it off in the tool tool setter and uh, set the tool length so that it measures exactly the same as the gauge pin did." Z probe touch detected at minus 0.0025. Okay, and the 0.0025 millimeters reported there is uh, two and a half microns, around about a tenth of a thou. That's just the repeatability of this machine between the axis movement and the ATC. This tool was actually set earlier, so no great surprise that it uh, didn't produce any any variation. Um, so the thing that remains in people's mind is how do you get a probe? to agree exactly since the probes uh, pre-travel will be typically be different from the tool setters. Um, well, let's go and show you how you do that. I'll select the, the probe now. Tool 99, probe. Okay, and having got the probe in place, I will actually set the probe's length in the same way, and for the moment we'll ignore the error that that, that causes. Z probe touch detected at 0 0.023. 
Okay, so that's our probe length set by the same technique. But as I said previously, there'll probably be an error in that caused by the fact that uh, the probe doesn't trip with exactly the same travel as the tool setter does. Um, so how do we check that? Well, what I'll do now is I'll switch to an 8mm end mill. Tool to 8mm square end mill. Now this tool has already been set, but in the interest of completeness uh, for this video, I'll reset this tool too. Z probe touch detected at minus 0 0.0025. Right, so with that tool's length set, what we're now going to do is take a test cut on this piece of alloy that I've got sitting in the vise here. Um, I've already got G54 set to more or less the right place, so hold on a second and we'll go there. Offset page, G54, go to X and come down to the preset height. Ok, now what I'm going to do, that's sitting a little bit above the work, I will jog that down manually. Ok, it's probably going to take a millimetre or so of a cut. Um, and I will set the vertical axis zero to be that point there. Okay, so that's that successfully zeroed. Now we'll make our cut. Let's see, let's give it some RPM. Well, I don't know. 5,000 should be enough. Spotwise is usually a good idea. And here we go. Turn the spindle off. Now, by definition, that step is at zero. So what we're going to do now is get the probe and measure where the probe thinks it is. Any difference will be the error caused by the way the probe's length was set using the tool setter. Tool 99, Pro. There we go. So, let's see if we can jog this down to being round about in the right place. Quite an arrow edge to aim for. Okay, there we go. And from there, we should be able to measure the location of that little shelf. Z probe touch detected at minus 0 0.0325. <coughs> and there you have the answer, 0 0.0325 millimeters difference. Um, so what that means is the probe appears to be roughly one and a quarter thou shorter than the ETS suggested it was. Um, so to correct that, well, it couldn't be couldn't be much more difficult, uh, much more easy rather. You're basically running exactly the same um, code that was running the tool setter only without moving it to G59 um, and adjust the length of the probe so that the position of that ledge there is called zero. Z probe touch detected at minus 0 0.0275 and that's our probe length modified, and you can see it come up on the screen as the slightly different length for that tool. And if we do, <coughs> excuse me, the probe again, you should find now measures pretty close to zero. Z probe touch detected at zero. Well, 
pretty much exactly as it should be. Now all that's uh, a little bit cumbersome and complicated, but you only have to do it once. Um, where this really comes into its own is typically the thing that always bothers me is uh, is using drills because I only have a couple of chucks for drills. So every other other time I use a drill, I have to go and set its length again. So I've got here three millimeter drill, quarter inch chuck. Um, I'll sit that about there. We'll tighten it up. Now, in my mill, I always use uh, 100 plus the drill size for uh, drills. So a three millimeter drill will be tool 130. So if I ask the machine to load tool 130, we'll get the last offsets that I had for this tool the last time I used the drill this size. Load tool 130, 3 mm drill. Tool 130, 3 mm drill. So that's tool 130 uh, loaded, and the machine is currently using the offsets for 130 as it was the last time it was, it was used. And obviously, I wouldn't have put the drill in, in exactly the same place as I did last time. Shouldn't be more than a millimeter or two out. But let's go and set the length properly. Z probe touch detected at 0 0.0575. Well, there you are, 0 0.0575 millimeters. I was only about, what's that, oh, two and a bit thou, two and a quarter thou out. Uh, looks like I'm better at tool setting than I thought it was. But really, that's all there is to it. There's no need to mess around measuring exact heights of anything. Um, pick a tool that never changes. In my case, it's uh, a gauge pin in a chuck that doesn't get used very much. Um, measure everything relative to that. And I can now use the probe to uh, to set the, the z-axis zero and all the tools will follow automatically um, couldn't be easier I hope that was interesting <laughs>